Hello, guys and gals. Welcome once again. Today's question: What is a robots txt file? And you see my little guy there. It says stop. It's basically a command. I'll explain in a second. It's a command file that excludes certain files or directories from the search engines. It's essentially a robots text file. is a special file. It's a plain text file, but it has special instructions for the search engine robots. It's nothing that you as a human would uh, uh, really concern yourself about uh, in terms of being a regular visitor, but it is very specifically for the robots, for the spiders, and it is placed on your website server. Here is an example of a couple of instructions that sit in the file, the robots.txt. Now, remember I talked about exclusion? Let me start with this potentially bad uh, situation here. If you copy a robots.txt file to your server root, and it has user agent star, which means all robots essentially, disallow forward slash, space forward slash. Well, you're saying, listen robots, you can exclude all files, no need to install those in terms of uh, data points into the search engine databases. It's basically like you're, you're wiped out, you know? There's no entry points into the databases. Here's the good one. Uh, this is user agent all, disallow nothing, right? So that means that all pages will be indexed and uh, will be good if you have an otherwise search-friendly site. So if you, if you recall from the previous video, we talked about an XML sitemap. You can consider that a tool to help inclusion of pages. You're basically helping the search engines along. You want those pages to be included. A robots.txt file essentially can be used for exclusion, as you've seen here. And so that is the simple answer to a robots.txt file. It's a special file with instructions for the search engine bots only. Okay, hope you enjoyed that and continue to watch these videos. Thank you.